guys, um, this video will cover ACT 08, um, English section. Okay, let's get started. Um, here, a lot of adventures live. Okay, so first of all, we don't need to have a comma here. So comma and means we have to have a clause after and before as well. But then we don't see any clause here. So we can eliminate A and B. And then of, in front of of, we never put comma. Unless there's a really, really special case. The two former school teachers completed their 24 journey and completed, achieved, finalized. Nothing wrong, so we cannot change it. Always you have to make sure that, you know, something wrong would change it. Okay, one a blue one runway. It so main subject the pair board the pair boarded as a subject verb and then took another verb. And then this is comma splice, as you see. Right? So how can we prevent the comma splice is either you put period, but then Right now, this is comma splice, and then if you want to put period, oh, this is still comma. Okay, so this is good because this is a positive runaway. Runway is a solid ice airstrip, so we just like pick this one out. So this one describe this one, and then yeah, so B is the best option. So hiking unassisted up. Uh, this glacier and each woman pull each woman it's okay so hiking doesn't have subject who actually hike is uh, each woman hiking that's why we shouldn't have and the writer would delete the sentence five the essay would lose primarily sentence five the sled carry, carried all the women's supplies, including tent and blah, blah, blah. Okay, so you need to have this idea because it says weighed, weighed more than 20, 260 pounds, and that's what um, I have about following sentence. Because of that, if you take this one out, it will lose detail of whatever the previous sentence is talking about. Okay. B, provide sentence four and the readers, yep. And then next, first adventurers ski on, onto the pole of plateau, stretching. Let's explain underlying phrase with this placement. Stretching. So what is right now is like you know, um, it sounds like the plateau is a stretching one thousand miles. But then where it is right now sounds weird that before it's word by by stretching and by then adventurers stretching, I don't think so. And then after adventurers, adventurers stretching that doesn't work. After desert, that makes sense. Desert stretching for describe about that. Strong wind had blue, blow blue blown. So this is uh, present tense, past tense, and then participle. So if you want to put it as um, past tense because it sailed, then blue has to be. So blown by itself, you cannot use it either. So you can say head blown or just blue, least acceptable. The team, two. Woman, these. These are kind of like, you know, um, not specific enough. So we have to specify. The next five days accordingly. Almost no wind. 
No, there's not a strong wind and no wind. So it's opposite to each other. That means otherwise, consequently, however, is the best way to do it. So this can replenish their food supply. Okay. So right now, I don't see any problem with this. First of all, there's no subject, so we shouldn't have comma here either. So just verb, visited, verb, that's, yeah, that's perfect. And then two days later, they were again in bitter cold and while and while that doesn't make sense because and is the conjunction and while is also conjunction you cannot like you know, put two conjunctions together and also if you want to keep and with a comma then we have a subject verb after so there's no subject and verb so we cannot keep this while and end and this is a comma splice and then climbing is okay and then to climb no If you say climbing, that two, um, they are the subject that describe about it. Okay, and then fortunately, the wind was with them the final few miles. And during those last miles of trip, they, okay, miles and during this trip, they're able to. So this is the final few miles gives us um, the last miles, right? So then this is redundant. So we just take this out. So J is okay. If added here, most effective specific emphasize woman's main accomplishment. So ski up the continent itself onto raw sea ice shelf. So accomplishment itself is. Yeah, B is a sort of accomplishment. Um, spend it with the winter arrived, a woman called Ski Plane prudently, prudently is um, the adverb, adverb supposed to place where it, it modifies verb or adjective or another adverb. So we don't have any of these in this uh, part. So where it is now is becoming prudently. Becoming stranded is already there. Prudently stranded doesn't make sense. It's very prudent means like wisely. Wisely stranded, that doesn't make sense. And then the same thing. And then cold, prudently cold. The woman prudently cold. Skip into yeah, that makes sense. The writer would delete the final paragraph. So final paragraph sort of gives us um, like whatever happened there. The the wind did not cooperate to avoid become stranded. The woman called ski so that they couldn't accomplish all the way. So. Um, yeah, they unable to ski. The next one, most folks are this, this one, okay. the shop opened at six in the morning. The shop opened six morning, and then this is comma spice, right? And then you have to put something in the, in the middle, so spot. And then on many mornings, the sky is adorned with a peach and the melon colored ribbons. As a blazing solar sun, solar is sun, so solar sun doesn't make sense. Okay, and then we're gonna like talk about this one first. Adorned with peach and yellow melon colored ribbons as least acceptable. At the same time, while wow, this 
And I think that to be in order that is different meaning. This is all like talking about time, right? And then in order in order that is um, sort of giving us like purpose, like reason. Most consistent with the figurative description. Figurative description. This is like um, peach melon colored, right? So something that the color that we have to see, which is orange. And then 19, walking, who's walking? Seagulls? No. I can walk. 20, usually as I'm opening the door, Carney, the night security guard at the marina, walks by on his way home and offers walks offers me okay the night the night security guard so i think nothing wrong with this one because we have two commas the carney is name and then subject and verb so it's just a describe about this we don't put comma on itself so itself himself herself all these things we call it as um Emphatic pronoun, for the emphatic pronoun, we don't put comma. So A, B, wrong, and then you have to choose between C and D. And of floor, so this is subject and verb. Because of that, we have to have a comma after this, I mean, after itself, that's why it's C. Turn the lights in the middle of the shop. In the middle of the shop, turn the lights. In the middle of the shop, a shop sits wooden bin filled. So, wooden bin, wooden bin subject sits verb. So we have subject verb, subject verb. This is commas. I mean, just like in a run-on sentence. So we have to set a separate this out, which is G. The subject is wooden bins. Sits doesn't make sense. It's um, just sit as a uh, plural verb. This case, they they um, they switch the subject and verb because that field has to modify the bin. Even in all the terms, true one provides most specific information about uh, merchandise. Most specific. Fishing from the track book series, ang angler and casual vacationer. So this is more specific about merchandise. So these are the ones that they're selling. If I notice any merchandise out of place, I straighten up. I straighten up, straighten it up. Merchandise straighten it up. So merchandise itself is singular. It is the merchandise itself. This, this is group noun. So I think A is okay. Them, these, and those, them, all the wrong because those are not, you know, um, plural. Uh, the merchandise itself is singular. Next, I turn out, turn on electric burn to heat water for a hot tea and start fresh pot of coffee. When I fill the bowl of this, take this, and add this. So when doesn't make sense because there's no following up with uh, uh, another um, the main clause. So because of that, we have to take out the when. So it's J. This later part is just listing up verb, verb, and verb. So we don't have after anything. And then, then from the walk-in cooler, I drag bush push bush shells of bait claim to the counter, and I make sure the buckets of live 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 herring mullet millet live herring millet and shrimp. So this is like noun noun and noun. So it's like all good. A for the sake of Coherence is for five, should be. I put out large cardboard flat of worm. Okay. 
So you have to relate to like, you know, the bait here. So then from the walking cooler, I drag for shell of beach team and then pull out and then pull out, okay. Or make sure bucket, uh, okay, buckets of like this build and then pull out the cardboard. Okay, they, so like they set up everything. So it's like, you know, after two, try to visualize what, what, whatever happened. By this time, it's nearly six o'clock. I open window blinds, unlock the front door and greet the first customer with a smile. Okay, with the smile, blues. Um, information there, blues. Now, E, attitude. Upon the re reviewing the essay, realizing some key information left out. The writer composed the following sentence in corporate accent. I work at Stoney's bait and tackle shop and place after. So, after. It should be like very beginning because this is the name of the shop. Yeah, so after. 31, the movie Dracula, uh, figure, figuring, that's figuring, that's barrel, and is featuring, not figuring, oh, featuring, that's barrel, better, bat like. Title character. So first of all, it's supposed to be possessive. So this is there is no such thing as this one. A is wrong. Who's no? That's just a simple thing. Is just many sources of people's ideas about that there are flawed. So then it sounds like you know bats are flawed. No, nothing to do with the bats. The idea is flawed. This is, the sub, this is wrong modification. Um, so I think it's between these two, but then H is shorter and better. And then the, the facts about bats are more in, interesting than, more interesting than so nothing wrong with this, right? More than THA and THA, and we can just eliminate these two. So between these two, but then this is most, most doesn't come with the end. Okay, just take three of most common misconceptions about bets. That the, this, okay, misconceptions are the one that this, it explained that are they, whatever. So then description, we have to put um, the column instead of semicolon. In reality, only three of more of the more than 850 known species of bats feed primarily on blood and even these do not grow nourishment from human blood. Okay, and then they bite cattle and horses in their skin. Bite. Okay. And they bite. Sounds weird. In their sleep, they bite. That doesn't make sense. Do they bite cattle and horses? Mm. Uh, sleeping cattle. I think that would be better. Some people believe that are rodent, others, so there's like the opposite thing. And then this is period, so there's nothing wrong with this one, okay? Or you can put the wild in, in, in between, but then there's no such thing. Although winged bats are not related to birds, because, because, because even if, Oh, weird, sound weird. Let's see. Uh, weather, 
that they're small, that's like common splice. Uh, yeah, we could connect this to anyhow because we have comma here and then there's subject verb. So we have to, and then under subject and verb. So we have to connect all these things. That's what the Aldo connects these two parts and then N connects all entire display. Um, it's a parallel structure, Aldo something, Aldo something. And then whether bats are unique order of mammals called Chiroptera. Okay. And then the, the only mammals that, this, so this is describing about this one. So it's nothing, nothing wrong with it. So it's like the only mammals, which is noun, that describe about this is a positive. The mammals that truly flies, mammals, Flies doesn't make sense. Mammals, plural. And then truly fly. Yeah, can truly fly. Yeah, that's found there. And this is like everything else is singular. This is only plural that you can possibly put. These bats sending out high frequency sounds and using echoes that. So then sending, supposed to be verb, but then we don't have verb. So send out. Sends out, let me see the hunt and night sound more like. So this is all present tense, right? So bounce backs, present tense, then we have to put J. Mm, which one provides most relevant information at the point of this essay? Being fascinated creature, pets are useful to humans, especially farmers. So usefulness that you know they have to show. To be is usefulness. Okay, writer considered deleting the preceding sentence. Preceding sentence, for example, bad caves are being disturbed. Ruined as highways and housing development are built. So the evidence of destroy is gone, right? Because the example right here. Um, yeah. Okay. And then as consequence, several best species face extinct. We should protect bats because Mm -hmm. Sounds weird. Provide phase here that will tie conclusions. So, though they were since they put two commas around. So, it says we should protect that because they are unimportant, and then they have to put this in the middle. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. The writer considered deleting the last sentence of the first paragraph. The writer will delete the last sentence of the first paragraph. Right here, they are so, this is so long. Just take three of the most common misconceptions, blah, blah, blah. So those are like, that's like thesis sentence if you take it out, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, thesis sentence. Yeah. Essay focusing on various ways in which people are causing extinction with this essay. Uh, no, this essay is more about the uh, three things that they're talking about here, misconceptions about that. This is not an extinction, so. Mistaken idea, misconception. Next one, 46, given that all the choices are true, which one most effectively introduces the sentence by describing what free speech movement was. Okay. So free speech movement. Berkeley during height of the United States presidential election campaign, free speech movement. Okay. So This is most effectively introduced sentence by Christmas because it's key. 
That, that has to be like specified. 47, Mississippi, the 20th state of the military union. So he had volunteered to civil rights work in Mississippi. So Mississippi is 20th state of the military union. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this. Union part is kind of like, you know, unnecessary. Yeah, there, this has nothing to do with that. It's just like in a civil rights movement itself. So I'll just Mississippi, the Southwest State. 47 during the first of summer, 1964, before returning to class. Nothing wrong with this. I can't find anything wrong before returning to class. Because it describes a bad key here. Along with many of these information tables on campus plaza, that stuff we never use stuff. It does like colloquial. Uh, that stuff led to student strike. Uh, so banned or stuff. No, it's supposed to be that banned. And keep the student strike and sit in protest. Student and sit in protest. No, nothing wrong with this. Strike and sit in is like the same thing. I mean, A student, let's A student strike and A sit in protest. So it's like parallel. Um, decide to divide the opening paragraph into two best ways. Add the new paragraph where it continues sentence. Four or five, let me see. This was so actually four, because it's the sons, son of working class, sorry, Asevio is introduced, and five is the describing of Asevio. You cannot start the set paragraph with the he. That's why it has to be between these two. Yeah, Savio. And then next one, consistently indicate appeal to the protest. Something strong, compelled, yeah, that would be stronger. So countless groups, group of protesters, countless, same countless. So then, no, it doesn't make sense. You have to say, you're supposed to say countless groups then. A countless group doesn't make sense. It's like you're supposed to say something large crowd, a huge group, least acceptable. That's say, uh, that day, not long after, besides soon then, G. Because everything else talks about time, but then G is the only one that, you know, adding more idea, but then there's not. Least acceptable. Uh, when they're talking about uh, written sport hour, right? University ban and granted. University ban and granted. So, ban granted false. Override ban granted full speech right. Yeah, so there's two ideas, right? Ban and granted, but then this E is least acceptable because if you say, you know, ban that granted, then ban is granted. That doesn't make sense. Writer is considering adding this one. So appointed this governor, California. Nothing to do with this one. It's just like you know, their their decision is important, not like about the uh, appointed. So I stray away from the topic. Free speech movement changed campus life in the United States. It made a powerful case 
the former students' rights. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with this. Students' rights, freedom of speech. It also, it also popularized, popularized, it also popularized sitting, okay. And then popularized the sitting as pro protest tactic. Sitting as, sitting as, Sitting as, so we shouldn't put comma, we cannot pause between sitting as a protest tactic. It says sitting as a protest tactic as a one thing that, you know, whatever they're talking about. So popularized and then became, so these two verbs, you have to put something in, in the middle, which is and to connect those two. So it's be as nice as he then taught mathematics and physics. He then taught mathematics and physics. What the hell with this guy school for six years? And the next one, Robert Clement, Whitefield. He's one of baseball's most gifted. One of baseball's most gifted. So baseball's with apostrophe. He was entitled nationally batting champion four times. Awarded entitled named given named will be better. Like if you say entitled, that sounds like you know he just like it's he's he, he just like you know got the title because he's just like you know he deserved. I mean, it's like it sounds like really arrogant to me. And then this World Series MVP in 1971. 1971. Nothing wrong with this. While Clement's achievements in the sport of baseball are impressive, his charity work off the field has remarked. So we have while. Then we have to have comma and then like continue, which is J. So because while is the conjunction in this case. The field has marked himself. Marked himself. Field is subject. Himself, we can't use it because subject and the subject has to be he to use himself. That's why him is good. 1972. Clement died in a plane, plane crash. Died in a plane crash. Very soon that. I think this is the last one. Still, there's nothing I cannot find anything wrong. While delivering relief supplies to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. Uh, not acceptable. While delivering, while he was delivering, it's good. While as he was delivering, that was delivering. What is that? We don't know that. And at the time of his death, Clement was planning long-term humanitarian project, which was designed to last for years. The project is designed. Project is designed for. But long term is already there, so that's just using this. So J stuff is good. A few years later, his wife Vera fulfilled. His wife Vera fulfilled. His wife Vera. His wife. Years later, his wife Vera fulfilled. So we have to have a comma here because yeah, Vera is additional information. His wife is. We can identify the person. So. Then each year the sacred council is the center. This is the youth the chance for a better life. One of them was for children a sports complex in Holman. What? For children. Oh no, this is not it. After them, after one of them for children, that's like redundant. One of them was sports complex for children. Yeah, that makes perfect sense. So,
Take a logic and coherence of this paragraph, sentence four, sentence four. One of them, so it's, it's, they're supposed to mention about many first. Um, make your project, one of them, okay? So then after one then, okay? Many projects that he did and then one of them is the one. Presented as a award annual. Award annual? Sounds weird. Presented annual award or annual, yeah. Okay, actually, recognize the player who best exemplifies the principal. Principal, this is the school principal. That doesn't make sense. We can the principals of sportsmen. Can you expand as story? So it helps sentence summarize, summarize key points in this essay. Key points. Yeah, he's a nice guy. He's helping out other people. Upon the review of his day, writer come across the following true sentences and between this honor includes semi Sosa, this, 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 this most logical place. So it's supposed to talk about, you know, I mean, the honors, this honor. And so let me think about two. Yeah, this has nothing to do with uh, he's actually helping other people and things like that. So I think it has to be something with the helping others. This is a word where we need this. That's why I think uh, five. After five, we see that you know what a word, and we speak that kind of talking about. So this is it for reading uh, English section, and I'll come back with the math section soon. So bye bye.